Now to our series, we call it Changing the Game. It's where we highlight extraordinary women who are making a difference now and for future generations. Today, we're very excited because we're gonna introduce you to Crystal Bell, remember her name, founder of Surprise Power Dolls, who encourages young girls to get involved in science, technology, engineering, mathematics, STEM subjects. So she launched the collection back in 2021 with four dolls. So I love the names. You got Cody the Coder, get it? Vera the Vet, get that? Yep. Maria the Mathemagician, and Astro the Astronaut. Right now, women make up about 34% of the U.S. workforce in STEM jobs, and fewer than 10% are women of color. Those numbers aren't so good. Crystal Bell is here because she wants to change that. Good morning to you, Crystal Bell. Good morning. Looking pretty in pink. You Thank look like you. a Barbie Thank movie. Thank you for having me. So as a little girl, you said your mom was like the real doll come to life. What yes, do you mean? Absolutely. So my mom is a STEM role model in my life and in my, my siblings' lives. Um, she has a computer science degree and she did coding. And so um, after having her two sets of twins, she ended up becoming a stay-at-home mom. Yeah. But she made sure that she taught myself and my siblings all about STEM and she encouraged us to go into coding classes and engineering classes. So you grew up thinking uh, coding classes, math, engineering, science was fun. Exactly. And as you became older, you noticed what in the world? I noticed that there was a gap. I noticed that um, there were fewer opportunities for girls to see representative STEM role models. In dolls. Um, yes. Because we were princesses. Yeah. What were we? And, and baby dolls usually is what we played with, you know, as kids. And so I wanted to give our girls educational STEM role models that look like them, talk like them, and can teach them about critical STEM subjects. And that's, we're looking at a couple of them. Yes. Right? Who are the two that you have here? I can see, so, one looks like the astronaut one. So right? here is Astro the astronaut, and then we have Cody the coder. And yes, there's also Maria the math magician and Vera the vet. What makes you confident? I know I lost my desire to even do math, like when I was 15, which is around the age where a lot of women, young girls, I should say, drop out of it. What makes you confident that this will sort of help girls and teen girls especially move forward with That's this? That's a really good point. So, you know, zero to eight are the formative years. Mm -hmm. And so um, before five, like zero to five, 90% of a child's adult brain develops. So during that time period, they are like sponges. They're taking they it all in. Yeah. And you know, the toys that they play with, they're actually learning from. So this is a great opportunity to teach them what they can be successful at and what they're capable of and just introduce them to these subjects. Because these dolls talk. Yes, Give us they a couple do. of examples of phrases they say. Yeah, so like our Maria the Math Magician, she says, let's go on a scavenger hunt. How many blue things can you find? Uh -huh. How many red things do you see? Because it's about spatial awareness. Yes. Cody loves to talk about computers and robots and building blocks and mazes and the alphabet. Just yeah, and they'll start repeating that. Yeah, absolutely. Just different skill sets that can kind of help to build up their learning in STEM as early learners. Yes. It's incredible. You, th Thank this you. is an amazing small business you've built. Do you have any Thank advice you. for people who are working to get their own small business up off the ground now that you're yeah. where you are? Yeah, I know for me, it was really interesting doing this during the pandemic. Um, I would just say, you no, know. No, but you should say you launched right before the pandemic. Yeah. And then the pandemic hit, and there you are. Yeah, yeah. I, I founded it right before the pandemic. I was at a crossroads, like, you know, it was four months before the pandemic began. I was like, what should I do? Like, should I keep moving forward? Like, I don't know, but I decided to keep moving forward. I was able to launch, thankfully, um, currently at Target, Nordstrom, Macy's, so they believed in me, so I'm super thankful for that. But I will say you just have to be persistent because you just never know what could hit you. I, I did not realize that I would get hit with so many things, but, you know, just don't give up, keep moving forward. But you make it sound like, okay, so then the pandemic hit, but I just kept going. But I'm serious, because yeah. how do you get your money? How do you yeah. stay up? How do you stay motivated when it looks like, how can you launch a business right before the pandemic and get it going? Yeah, that's very true. Um, you know, I would say, like, as far as, like, financing goes, there are different... Um, organizations that are focused in on, you know, minorities and, you know, groups that kind of need assistance. And thankfully, when you have, like, you know, POs from, like, a Target and things like that, that kind of helps. So I will say that that helped me a lot. Um, I have had, you know, certain delays because of the sound chips. You know, there was a global sound chip shortage. So when the I didn't know there were, was a global sound chip. Yeah. yeah, during the pandemic. <laughs> sound so chip anything shortage. Anything with technology. Yes. Yeah, so that, you know, impacted things. 
of oh my god, the cost Jeez. just tripled but and you like did it. Whoa. Yeah, I, you know, I, I just kept moving forward. There were some nights where I, you know, had some sad nights, but just wake up in the morning with some hope, some fresh hope, and just keep moving. You, you persevered, and you're firing some imaginations here. So, yeah. Christabel, thank you very much. Thank you so Congratulations. much. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much.